All right, so anyway, Strive is over. We went over the Japanese player tweets. Uh, I just wanted to move on. You know, I feel like we streamed it for about 10 hours. We had a ton of people watching, uh, constantly over a thousand viewers. It was great. YouTube had a lot of uh, views and everything. Shout out to YouTube. So I felt like I did enough. You know, I felt like, you know, we did our part to help Strive out. We'll leave it up to the devs, but it's never enough. Again, I don't know why people keep coming to me, but we always, every time, Gina never gets a break, huh? Never gets a break. They always have to come and hit me up, even on my days off. Anyway, we got another DM. Juna, it's me, Daisuke Shibatari. Well, here we go again. That's what I thought when I read that. I'm sorry to ask, but I need you in the Anime Illuminati to save Guilty Gear again. Ugh. All right. Of course, I was sighing, but I was like, well, leave it to us. Then he said, Obama keeps talking about Guilty Gear. Wow, he knows Obama? That's crazy. He says, Obama keeps talking about Guilty Gear, but he plays Bedman. That character belongs in Ultimate Marvel's Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. I regret creating him. Wow. Straight out of Daisuke's mouth. That's crazy. Only a Leo player such as yourself truly understands what Guilty Gear is about. Of course. I knew that. No worry, sir. We will save Guilty Gear again. But yeah, there we go. Again. They're all hitting me up, huh? Daisuke hit me up after the first survey. And we did work, you know? We did work together. We figured it out. Uh, we got our side games hitting me up, and now Daisuke is back. So, I wasn't planning on doing the survey, but, you know, if the man asked, we got to get it done. So, I haven't looked at this. I don't know what is on the survey. Let's just do it together. So, I think, even though I live in Japan, I believe, uh, I heard for this survey, you need a code. So, I have the code. I think it's for NA. So, I'm going to hit North America. Guilty Gear Strive. Close beta. So here we go, guys. Let's save Guilty Gear for the second time. So Guilty Gear Strive closed beta test survey North America. Thank you for participating in Guilty Gear Strive closed beta to improve the... Okay. We, yeah, look at this. Very important. To improve the quality of the final release, we asked you felt the following survey. Uh, the new Guilty Gear has definitely made a lot of players very, very angry at Arxis. They're angry at the devs. They feel like, you know, they killed Guilty Gear. They did all that stuff. I'm still optimistic in the, uh, you know, the devs and... Lord Daisuke and all that. I still have faith. Uh, they've been asking for feedback all over the place. And we've seen changes already. There's still at least six or seven months without any delays. So I still, I, I honestly believe that they're, they're looking for feedback. You know? I remember early on Obama was telling me it's all lip service. It's all lip service. They don't actually, they're not going to change anything. But we'll see. So let's give our honest feedback here. All right, location. So I'm from New Jersey, but I'm not going to put New Jersey. You know, if you guys might not know about this. I know all about it. There's something called the West Coast Split, and this is 100% real. If you're not aware, if you've been watching Emily Lamati, you know. If you're not just on YouTube and you want to do anything in fighting games, this is uh, everyone in California is better than everyone else. East Coast, no. Oh, I don't even know what East Coast is. We're Cali. How much do you spend on your hobbies for a month? This is an easy question. This is the easiest question I've ever seen in my life. Of course. Why would they ask me that question? You, you guys, remember when you were in school and you had the multiple choice question and like some of the answers are so obvious? Not that you know the answer. You just know the answer is obvious. I don't, I don't spend 500 a, a, a month on my hobbies, but who do you think that they want to listen to? The people that are going to spend a lot of money or the people that are going to spend zero? This is a trick question. If you put zero to 50 automatically in the trash so listen to my opinion because i'm more valuable than the people that don't have money that's that's what we're telling these guys please rate the following aspects of the guilty gear strive close beta wow they just cut right to the chase huh they went right to the chase first up battle system i'll tell you what it's not very good and it's not very bad it's like currently right now if the game came out i would say bad oh i hurt that hurt me that hurt me that hurt me. You know, can't, we can't say average, right? Aver we learned that. We don't say average for anything. We never say average. Battle system is bad, but I like it. I like it. I don't, don't, don't want to get clipped out of context. I like it, but it's bad at the moment. Uh, character visuals, very good. Character animations, good. Not very good. There's still some animations that are weird to me. There's still some animations that are weird, but uh, overall they're good. Stage graphics. Bro, this shit is very good. I saw a couple people. I saw a couple people already. Like, These stages suck. Just get the hell out of here. What do you guys bitch about anything? 
Everybody always wants to, to complain about something. This shit's very good. If you look at that stage and you think like, if you look at the stages in Strive and your first reaction is to complain about something, what the fuck do you want? What do you want if this is not considered like a very good? Visuals at the start of the round or end screen. I prefer Rev, but I'm not gonna say very good, but they're not bad. But I prefer, I definitely prefer Rev. Online lobby is very bad. Online battle, I gotta say very bad because we had disconnection. So online battle is very bad. UI design, bad. I don't think it's very bad. I don't, I don't think the UI design is very bad, but I want it to be better. But like I said, I don't mind the, I don't mind the more modern style, but it still needs more of the rock. It still needs more of the Guilty Gear style, but I don't mind it being a little bit more uh, modernized. I don't like the BGM. BGM is my favorite part of Guilty Gear. I like I like Guilty Gear music more than I like Guilty Gear the game. No, society is cool. Society and chip, society and chip songs are, are both good. Every other song I don't like. And the thing about society and chip is, uh, you know, the song's really good, but I don't want to be playing the game. I don't want to run a set with somebody like 20 games hearing that song on on repeat. Right? I don't want lyric or vocal tracks to be the main song the thing about that octopim right octopim says instrumental versions please so i want instrumental versions too but i tried listening to uh i guess society i forget which one i tried listening to and i was just like trying to tune out the music and hear the song in the background and like i was like this is not a good fighting game song if you took the lyrics out so i'm gonna say bad and then sound sound effects so the in-game sounds were good like the chain i remember axel's chain sounds really good I'm gonna say bad though, because it still has some weird, uh, like when you lose a heart, it has that weird like menu theme. Boink. Like the the fighting, the fighting uh, sounds are good, but there are still some questionable sound effects to me. All right, there we go. Battle system, bad, but I like it. I want it improved. Right? I don't want, I don't want like very bad. Give me Rev Three. It's like I like it, but there's still some things I want to change. Cact visuals, beautiful. Animations, mostly beautiful. There's some weird things though, like the falling animation, it feels weird to me. Graphics, of course, are very good. Game response, I have no idea what to say, so good. Visual at the start of the round or windscreen. I like the fluid intros. Visual directing, again, I don't really know what that is. Fine, lobby's bad, very bad, very bad, we know that. UI design, again, uh, I'm not on the very bad, like fuck this shit. I like what they're doing, but again, I would like it like uh, toned up a little bit. Sound, no. All right, that's good. How would you rate the visibility of the game screen? Uh, main menu, online lobby, very cluttered. Uh, battle result screen, very cluttered. Main menu, I mean, it's not cluttered, it's just ugly. You know, I wish I could just say ugly. And then if you keep putting cluttered, they might just make it even more minimalistic. See, this is, this is a trick question, right? This is the trick question. Because, like, they don't put... They don't have, do you like it or not like it? It's just like cluttered or very easy. Well, it wasn't cluttered. Like it wasn't cluttered, but I don't like it. Oh yeah, I guess the risk. Yeah, I guess I guess we could do that. You think about the risk, we'll do cluttered. I, I really like the combo counter until it goes up to 1.8, of course. 1.8 is, you can tell 1.8 was not intended. Like it gets so big that like it's pixelated and shit. Risk burst porch is the only cluttered thing you are. Yeah, but that's the thing. So that's what I'm thinking, Umbi, is like the risk Burst and Portrait are the only part that's cluttered, but that's the most important part. So, that's why I'll say cluttered. Okay. Which character did you use the most when it's closed beta? Soul. Which character did you like the most when it's closed beta? Soul. <laughs> Just grabbing the shit out of people. It's mad fun. After playing closed beta, how like you to purchase Guild Gear Strive? Definitely. Please explain below. Explain what? Why I'm gonna buy the game? Huge fan of the Guilty Gear series. Well, I am not. I am not a hundred percent happy. Improve on it. That's pretty good. What do you like about Guilty Gear Strive? Throwing my opponent three times and winning was fun. That's good enough. I would like, you know, the current. The current strive, I definitely would like. It's the same way I feel about Grand Blue. Like Grand Blue, very very fun right now. But I'm looking forward to how the game goes from now. Like I want them to add more stuff to Grand Blue. I want some more mechanics and stuff. 
but it was like the perfect start. Grand Blue on like release, even though you know Cat and Grand are busted and shit. Game was mad fun, mad easy to pick up. I, without a doubt, this shit needs to get uh, simplified and reset. I'm 100% on that. You shouldn't be able to beat me because I've been playing for six years. It's like, yeah, maybe that's true, but that's why we need a new game. I think simplicity argument is iffy. Yeah, th that's what I'm saying. There's no right answer. There's without a doubt, no right answer. Do I want the game to be, you know, just super, super simple? Do I want it to be Grand Blue? To me, Grand Blue is like, to me, Grand Blue is a very, very, very simple game. I don't want, I like Grand Blue, don't get me wrong. I really like Grand Blue. I don't want Strive to be like Grand Blue, but I don't want it to be like Rev 2 at the same time. What do you dislike about Guilty Gear Strive? All right, now this is what everybody wants, right? Allow us to play older songs like in Exit. Current system is not intuitive. That's a big word. That's a $2 word. Unintuitive. Is that a word? Unintuitive. I like the high damage, but I think it needs to be lowered a bit. I, li I, I like the high damage. It's too high now, but I do like where everything hurts like holy crap i like the i like the combo counter but it gets too big after 10 hits when you break the wall it looks like your character is in looney tunes make them get blown away like in that would be cool it was like dragon ball fighters where it was just like you know, Dr Dragon Ball Fight is the same thing where you blow up the wall and they just go, Foo! They go shooting like a laser. That would be cool instead of like, Ooh! Oh shit, I forgot. Looney Tunes is wrong. Overall, the game you play, but with like uh, some more options and control so that uh, there is more to or with time. It's pretty good. The wrist and meter easier to see. Maybe get rid of the moving port. Oh, I don't know why I capitalized. Of the moving portrait if that is the cause for them being so small. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to write too much. All right, I'm going to stop. What franchise would you like? Oh, baby. To see Guilty Gear Strive have a collaboration with. All right. We need a serious answer. Because, you know, the memes, our uh, memes, I'll say, uh, whatever, uh, Neo Turf Masters or something. But we want something that might actually happen. Shit. I, th I, don't mind. I think I just got to put Blaze Blue. I feel like it's just Blaze Blue. All right. Dream and then reality. What's the dream? done that's it we in there dark stalkers get your own get your own thing what kind of guilty strive events do you want to see collegiate leagues no tournaments between regional teams beginner tournaments pro player invitational exhibition competition between video game companies online casuals uh, i want this one sorry this this is me i'm trying to get in here i'm saying that one can you pick multiple offline casuals offline tournaments pro player invitational exhibition I mean, I want to watch that if it's good, but I don't trust them. Beginner to hell no. Uh, that could be good. Bro, this this is very popular. Competition between video game companies is very popular in Japan. Uh, so I work for Twitch. I work for Twitch, and like Twitch enters a lot of these tournaments, but a lot of them aren't fighting game tournaments. But right before I joined, right before I joined the company, they had one, uh, there was a Tekken tournament. And I was like, damn. I could have we could have put the put the company on my back right there. I feel like that's a good one. What other cats would like to still see in the done top five finish? You know, obviously I want the whole cast. I want as many characters as possible eventually. But if I have to pick five, this is the five: Johnny, Leo, Order Soul, Slayer, that man. I don't really care about Slayer, but he always is the best song, so he gets in there for the music alone. Please select all the good games you played before. Guilty Gear. I did. And I played the first title. I didn't play Iska. I touched Iska. I didn't actually play it. You know, I, I was like, this game's whack. I played, uh, was it SP? Advance? 
SP. That shit was godlike. They had they had EX characters in that game. What would you like to see from the Guilty Gear series going forward? Don't care, don't care. Live concert, yes. Theme cafe, don't care. New game in a different genre, no. Anime, no. Anime film, no, no, no. Uh, more with the series. Wonderful music. Please put jukebox mode into drive. Next. Theme cafes are so whack. What is your favorite way to play fighting games? Joining tournaments, events, playing online. Love. I love live streaming with the boys. What got you into fighting games? Shit. That's way. That's, come on. In my life. That I was not into fighting. I'll capitalize. Put some, put some respect on that. Capitalize. What is the most important factor in purchasing fighting games? Shit. The most important? Player population. I don't... I guess important. They're all, I mean, all these are popular, but I'm on a mission. I'm saying music. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going music. It's music. I need music. Give me my jukebox mode. Just give me jukebox mode. I need it. I don't, I don't care about good network, guys. I live in Japan. I'm fine. Give me delay for 10 more years. I'll take it. 100 more years. What's your favorite fighting game? Oh, shit. This is actually a hard one. Blaze Blue, Melty Blood, Persona. Those are the big three for me. Shit. Persona, I love you, Persona. I love you so much, but I have to go for one of these two. Nah, Melty, Melty is the hipster choice. I'm going Blaze Blue. I played Blaze Blue for 10 years straight, man. As much fun as Melty Blue, as much as I loved it, Blaze Blue had a way bigger effect on me. Second favorite. Give me a third. They got a third one? Oh my god, I saw it. Melty Blood, Persona. Thank you. Thank you, Arxis. What other game genres do you play at home? Bro, I'm, I'm on that Call of Duty, baby. Should my Call of Duty be racing or should it be shooters? Because all I do is ride people over in the cars. How many console games do you purchase in a year? Over seven. How much do you spend on console games in a month, including DLC? Oh, shit, I said 500 be I said 500 before, right? No, no, I own hobbies, you're right. 100 to 300. No, that, don't know. No, no, it's not real. You don't do that. No, no, no. That was only hobbies. It was hobbies. I got other hobbies, too. I collect jabs. I collect Japanese action videos. That's separate from my fighting game hobby. 100 to 300. What is your favorite kind of entertainment? Dude, come on, man. Japanese action video. I love watching action. I can do multiple. Music. I love fighting games and listening to Guilty Gear music in jukebox mode. I'm trying to send them a message here. What influenced you to buy a new game? I do not buy new games. What the hell? It's just like social media. Only one? Oh, shit. All right. Social media. There's no music. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put music. But... How do you usually buy a new game? After release date. On the release date. Please explain below. Jukebox. Yeah. Okay. Lastly, please let us know if you have any comments, suggestions, or concerns. Is this where that guy did it? Um, I am... I am cheering for you guys. And I have faith that you will deliver a good product please don't let all of the negative feedback get to you but also understand that the fans are passionate I'll say passionate passionate about guilty gear and don't want to lose their favorite series. I think the current version has a lot of potential, but also needs some work. That is up to Lord Daisuke and team to figure out. Please just put in jukebox mode. There you go. Oh, yeah, and good stuff on the rollback, too. On listening to the people and putting in jukebox. No, sorry, rollback. We did it. Thank you for participating in the survey. You may exit by hitting finish. Thank you. All right, so we are done. So you saw... We went over the, in uh, the other video, we went over the, all the Japanese tweets. So that survey was a lot more in depth than the last one, right? 
we, you actually write some stuff in. The old one, you couldn't really write anything too much. But again, it's showing, that, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's showing that they're listening to everyone's you know, opinion. But you saw how much I wrote. I'm not even angry. You can only imagine how much like everyone else wrote, like Sato here, you know? And like everyone is writing like 50 page responses like that, they can't get read. You can't go through all that stuff. And I don't know, maybe maybe it was a, they should have put a, a character limit, I think, on there. They should have put a character limit on everything. People must have just been going off. The problem with that is like, well, what are you gonna do? Like no one's gonna sit there and read it all. Like you can't do it. But yeah, it's good. It shows that they are interested in hearing what people want. We already saw some changes from the last version and this version. And we'll see where it goes from here. But the whole, if we want to just summarize everything that I'm thinking about the game after finally playing it, is that again, like I said, I am on board. I agree with simplifying the game. I'm 100% with that. Uh, the UI stuff that everyone's very, very angry about right now. I generally, or genuinely, or generally like it. There's some things I want changed, but like I said, if everyone is so against it, I'm not like passionate about it that like I'm gonna defend it. It's like, well, all these people want to change, so just change it. Right? I'm fine either way. I don't really care about it, but I don't hate it like everyone else is. Um, the music, that's the jukebox mode is not a meme, right? If the game comes out and only has these vocal tracks, I'll be very upset that'll be the thing that affects me the most honestly about the game is i got to hear them singing over and over and over again i don't get to hear my favorite like guilty gear music uh and then like the little the gameplay stuff there's nothing specific there's a lot of like little specific things that i want change but it's not like throw it out it's terrible i want something brand new like i i'm liking the direction they're going in but it still needs some work and it's still early. So the other thing is too, I don't know how game dev works, right? So the game's scheduled to come out in quarter four of this year. So like six, seven months, seven, eight months around there. I have no idea if that is enough time for the game to change a lot or if it's like they can do a couple things and they have to like push it. So I have no clue. But to me, it still sounds like there's a lot of time. There's definitely a lot more time than if they're doing it two weeks before. Uh, the lobby system, net play, like we don't have to talk about that. That was just a disaster. They need to completely redo that. And then uh, I see in the chat, people talking about delay. If they delay the game five years, I don't care. You know, I hope they delay it as long as they need to until the game is like, all right, this shit is really good. Throw it out there. But of course, that's what I want as a player, as a fan. It's like, just take your time. There's no rush at all, but of course, you know, from a business standpoint, whoever is in charge, whoever is smoking the cigar at the top of uh, Sony or Arxis is definitely saying, like, you can't delay it, right? Because they're losing money. The longer game is delayed, the more money it's costing them. So they're definitely having the pressure to release the game. They delay it, I'm fine. Take your time, but we'll see. They have the Corona. They can use the Corona excuse right now. But yeah, again, overall, I'm still positive about the game. I think I have faith. If it comes out and I get burned, where it's like, this game sucks, they ruined it. Well, I got burned, you know? It's like, well, after being, like, happy with this company for 20 plus years, they finally put out something that, I, like, I don't like. It's like, all right, but I'll still buy it. I'll still support it. And then, again, I'm just very, very optimistic. So even if it comes out and it's just like, wow, this game sucks, I'll go from there. But yeah, hopefully there's another beta, too, before. I want to play more. I want to play more and we can we can tell now too because some people got to play before and they were talking about the changes from before to the current beta but now that i played this one if they put out another beta i can tell like they changed that to this and you can kind of tell which direction they're going to go for but yeah if you're watching daisuke good luck i'm cheering for you here